Hey everybody, Zara here, and today we're going to be going over the Conan religion of Yogg. You're going to find that trainer here at F4 at, Shaman, sorry, at Shaman's Rise. And this is him here. This is Nanu the Cannibal, and you will talk to him and learn Acolyte of Yogg. He does also do the emote Cheer. I am his shaman, Nunu. Your coming was revealed to me in the whispering of a bat's wings. So, um, where do we find a priest for our shrines of Yogg? Well, one place is here at the summoning place. That's that red eye on your map, and it's going to be kind of in the back. It's going to look just like your shrine of Yogg. So right here, you can see it. It's a nice circle. Here's a Yogg Archpriest. That's a tier three. Okay. And another thing that can spawn here is the Defari Witch Doctor. This is a named alchemist. So if you're having a hard time getting an alchemist for your base, this can be a place where you can farm for one. All right, here's a tier one Yogg Priest. And I farmed here quite a bit for quite a while. Um, and I never actually got the tier four to spawn. It says that Yogg's Chosen can spawn here. I didn't have any luck getting him to spawn here. I got some tier 3s, tier 1s, and tier 2s. Um, but no tier 4, no chosen of Yogg. So here's a Yogg High Priest. This is the tier 4, or not tier 4, tier 2. Another High Priest. So this is a tier 2. Okay, this is another location. This is Galaman's Overlook. And as you can see, we have a tier one Yogg priest right here. And that is right up in H4 at the very top, right above Galaman's tomb if you've ever been there. This is a third location, and this is the Yogg arch priest. Okay, so she's a tier three. A lot here with her just kind of up on a bluff but if we look at our map we are right there there's the summoning place over there and there's Galaman's overlook and those are the three places that I went to try and farm a priest for my shrines okay so the first shrine you're gonna start off with in your base is the pit of Yogg and this is it right here if you open it up, you'll see I have just a plain Yogg Priest. This is a tier one. Um, this is the Flesh of Remembrance, the Yogg Cleaver. This is how you actually get your flesh to make the purified flesh, okay? So, um, you can do any one of these things, trade them in in order to get seals of, or sorry, manifestations of zeal. And then we have our cleaver and our cudgel, and of course our upgrade to the Rift of Yogg, which is the next step up in Shrine, or in the Shrines. So if we go right over here, you'll see my Rift of Yogg and my Priest. She just kind of sits on the edge over there. But if we open this up, you will see I have Yogg Archpriest in my Thrall spot, and it's a Rift of Yogg. So I have a tier three in my upgraded version, and I have the Cudgel and the Cleaver, my upgrade to the Abyss, a Spear, which is new, and the Armor Set, which is new. Um, you do get the Armor Set either from the um, upgraded shrine or from having the tier three priest. I'm not sure which it is. I didn't switch my priest out to see, um, but it is a light armor set. And then of course we do have our um, purified flesh, which is our food from Yogg. Okay. Not a lot of mats to make these. If we go over to our abyss of Yogg, Okay. You can see I have a cleaver and a cudgel, and then I have Yogg's Chosen. This is the tier 4 that I was trying to get to spawn at the summoning place, and it wouldn't. And then Purified Flesh. Um, I made a couple of those just to show what it looks like. Okay. 
We do also gain a skeletal decoration in the upgraded version. And then of course we have our armor set and our food. We also have Yogg's protection. You can make this using 500 manifestations of zeal. And true name of Yogg, which is how you summon the avatar of Yogg. And it also takes 500 manifestations of zeal. Okay? But yeah. That decoration's pretty cool. I like it. I've used it. Over here, we have a couple of models for the armor. We have a female and a male. This is what the set would look on, like, depending on your thrall's gender or yours. And then here's our decoration. This is what it looks like when it is put down. Okay. So, I did want to go over the food a little bit more. If we eat one of our purified flesh, Okay, you'll see I gained um, Favor of Yogg and Sated. Those are two different um, effects or buffs. And if we go into our stats and we look, we'll see Sated gives us two points of healing every three seconds. And Favor of Yogg, Grit and Vitality is increased by one. So, little buff, not a lot, but it might help. Okay. Now I did want to touch on the weapons a little bit more. So when we are looking at our spear, we will see that it has health damage of 23 and armor penetration of 16. It is a throwing weapon, so you can make multiple of these. And then our cudgel has health damage of 32, armor penetration of 26, and it has stun damage. And the Yagite Cleaver is a tool. It has health damage of nine. And you will harvest NPC bodies of humanoids, no animals. It has to be the humans. So I decided to summon the avatar of Yogg just so that you guys could see what that looks like. So here's our Abyss of Yogg. You do have to have the Abyss of Yogg and I believe a tier four um, priest, although you may be able to do it with a tier three as well. I used a tier four because I had an extra. So you're going to need to have at least 500 manifestations of zeal. Okay, and you're going to make true name of Yogg and you're gonna click on that after you make it when it's in your pack and you will start this summoning animation. And this will last um, anywhere from 50 seconds to a minute. I could not find a way to speed it up, so I just let it go at the 50 seconds to a minute. Now guys, if you are getting value out of this video, if you're learning something, or if you're just enjoying the content, please hit that thumbs up, like the video. Um, if you wanna see more content from me, subscribe to the channel. I do try to post weekly. I may not always succeed, but I do try to post weekly. Um, and leave a comment, you know? I love interacting with you guys. I do try to answer questions as quickly as I can and to give accurate information. So, we are still in our summoning animation. And, um, you know, she put her hands down a couple of times and I was like, oh, she's done, yes. But no, <laughs> we keep going for a while. Okay, so once he summons, it will look like this. He'll kind of rise out of the ground and it's like you're hovering above him. You will see you do only have a timer of one minute, okay? So once he's summoned and he becomes active, you have one minute to do whatever damage you want to do with him. So in order to do his attacks, you're going to hold your left mouse button and he'll sink into the ground and do this big explosion thing. Okay, and then he'll come back up. If you have to travel to hit whatever it is that you wanna hit with him, um, he's very slow. I hope you don't have to travel very far because you're not gonna make it very far and actually be able to do an attack. Okay, this is his speed. Um, I made no changes to his speed even though I'm on a private server and maybe I could have sped him up, I didn't. This is his basic speed. And I just did the attack again because I wanted to see the animation. And it's this great big explosion thing. Alright, so this is the avatar of Yogg. Um, 
when he despawns, you'll just kind of appear, it'll say your achievement, and then you'll just get a loading screen. Well, thanks everybody. I enjoyed making this video and spending time with you, and I hope to see you all next time.